Hey guys, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2 Mike Alpha November, and it seems that Sunny, uh, representative for our um, first and right now only approved Chinese official supplier, sent me without me asking for it another batch uh, of the kit, and I want to do a live unboxing with you to see what changed and or if something changed, I don't know yet. And um, I will build it and will show you the end result. So probably I have a very good feeling with them, but a feeling does not uh, substitute um, checking on it. So this is why we do that. We want you to have the best version out there. And so we're checking on it. Again, nice box, wrapped in foil, so nothing gets lost. So let's have a look. Okay, two bags. Oh, we have a serial number now. Look at that. So this means it's pre-programmed. Nice. Okay, the two PCBs again. Aha, uh -huh, see, they changed. We have now anti-static bags. Looking good. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Cannot really see a problem. How could you see with your bare eyes anyway? Still, the blue PCBs with gold-plated uh, contacts. Perfect quality, I cannot tell anything. Let's see. I'm going to pour it in here so we don't lose anything on my chaotic workbench. So there are the relays, Omron. This is the OLED display. Again, in a nice little box. This is the speaker, yes. We recommended to use them, they bought it, great. Wire. The connectors. The inter-PCB connector. One, two. Three ferrites, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Again, two additional toroids. I like that since I'm really getting a fan of those toroids they deliver. Okay, this seems we have another batch of BS 170s. Rotary encoder. This is ISP header. Microphone. Push buttons. Screwing uh, uh, screws for for OLED. Nice. Yeah. It's it's looking complete. If I've not overlooked something. And I'm going to build it as usual. And let's see what's uh, coming out of this. So I wanted to show you how to program that radio just using the serial number. I downloaded the new firmware, I plugged it in and when I wanted to start the video I realized the firmware was already on there. So good news for all of you that uh, do not want to mess around with uh, with firmware programming anyway I'm uploading now the the current version so yeah I'm connected and I'm pressing no I need to select the right file which I downloaded for the serial number and program let's see it's programming writing 
done reading. Now we should see a reset and boom. There it is with my call sign. Okay, so programming experience really good in this case. So why I'm stopping here for a video is I wanted to show you something. Um, it turned out that the wire they provided this time is a little bit thicker than we had before. In this case it's 0 0.54 instead of 0 0.4. Uh, basically, this is a good thing, the bigger the better, because uh, you're getting more Q, higher Q coils are good. Um, Q is defined by the relation between resistance and inductance. Um, I hope I said it right, because it's not my native language. And what happened is, especially with the highest amount of uh, windings on any toroid on this PCB. I always start with a choke with a drain inductor and this should be according to schematic 22 turns. Um, and then possibly you, you have two options here. Uh, either you wind them on there regardless if you're going onto a second layer or like I did in my case uh, when they contacted each other inside. I could not add more without adding a second layer. I stopped. So I ended up with 19 windings here, 19 turns. And the reason is, this is basically energy storage. There's a, a minimum amount of inductance required for that uh, coil. We are way over that anyway. And at some point when I was experimenting initially, I found out that the more I'm blocking here towards the 12 volt line, uh, the least or the less uh, the, the, this capacitor has to do because um, it's keeping actually RF from the 12 volt line and shorting the remains to ground here. And this is wasted energy, so the higher that inductor is, uh, the less energy gets lost here in this capacitor. So that's a theory. So I went, regardless, I went with just 19 turns in this case, and we'll see how that will turn out. I, I think we'll be fine. Okay, guys. So I literally just dropped the soldering iron. Um, I, of course, went through the measurements real quick, uh, and I wanted to show you what the, the Chinese kit built here. Uh, <clears throat> performs without any tweaking. This is just like I, I soldered them in, no tweaking at all. So let's start with 80 meters. I see 7 watts at 12 volts, by the way, and 87% efficiency. Uh, on 60 meter, 4.85 watts and 82% efficiency. 40 meter, 4.5 watt, 81% efficiency. 30 meter, 4.9 watt, 80 point, yeah, 81% efficiency. And 20 meter, 4.66 watt, 80.34% efficiency. So you see, out of the box, no tuning at all we are already there with them they they really have their their components under control they do a really great job when it comes to supplying the right components i, I have to admit i'm i'm impressed um, the chinese rigs they supply me the kits to for evaluation they are amongst the best performing rigs i have here and <laughs> i have a lot obviously okay so um, I'm going to tweak this and prepare it for the for the other tests and I'm getting back with the results. The tuning itself will be another video, so this one gets not too long. But instead of showing you um, the same measurements that we did last time with the harmonic suppression, I can assure you they, they are okay, uh, showing you all the same results. Um, so it's it keeps uh, entertaining and you see something different. I'm showing you uh, measurement of the receiver section this time. Uh, next thing I'm going to test is uh, the 
receiver and especially sideband suppression. I don't know if you can read it here, yeah, it looks good. Uh, this is the Tiny SA. I'm using it as a function generator or as RF generator, RF signal source. Uh, set it to 14.06 megahertz. Uh, set this to 14.06 uh, megahertz, CW. Uh, set it to minus 50 dBm right now, uh, 30 dB of attenuation in between. Really important, I set this to practice mode so I do not accidentally blow the Tiny SA up by going in with uh, 5 watts or uh, blowing up my precious attenuator, um, which is rated for, I guess, 0 0.5 watts. Okay, so since I do not have a speaker yet, I'm going to connect this and we can hear minus 50 plus. 30 is minus 80, minus 80 dBm, okay. Minus 100 dBm now, still audible. Minus 110, still audible. Minus 120, now it's gone. So this should be okay for shortwave. Now let's check sideband suppression. For this, I set it to relatively high level, uh, minus 60 dBm, minus 50 here and 10 dB of attenuation here, minus 60 dBm level. Set it to USB. Uh, here we are 14.06, here we are slightly below the frequency, the offset for uh, decoding CW. And then I'm switching that on, changing sideband and see the difference between upper and lower sideband. Minus 60 dBm, minus 50, minus 10 equals minus 60. Minus 60 dBm, perfect. Now I'm switching first to CW, it's gone because it's outside of the filter. Now LSB, it's still audible but at minus 96 dBm. Minus 96 dBm. So this means a difference of 36 dB of sideband suppression and that's as good as it gets with uh, this kind of simple rig. Okay, so that's fine. So guys, let's wrap it up. Um, our Chinese friends did a great job again. Uh, I mean, they, they are seriously the best versions out there. Um, <laughs> I, I shamefully have to admit that they did a really good job and um, those I built always ended up very well. There was never a problem with them and if there was a problem it was fixable. So no big deal at all. The great quality um, works as expected and I can only give you uh, fully recommendation to buy from them because they are providing excellent quality yeah and by the way we got to really be thankful that they are offering that in such a high quality worldwide and they recently started their online shop so you can save also a few bucks there because they do not need to pay for ebay or aliexpress fees Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like that kind of content, I would like you to subscribe and like and comment below what you think about it. And see you next time. 73, good luck. Delta Lima to Mike Alpha November.